am I the a-hole for evicting my boyfriend's daughter because she almost put me in the hospital? I mean, it sounds like she's trying to kill you. Live in the hospital. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you just got new room and board. <laughs> exactly. This comes from Throwaway Allergy who says, I can't have contact with peanuts and I am terrified of them due to some bad experiences of me ending up in the hospital. You're allergic to peanuts. Why yeah, so man. weak? Never good experiences. Never good, honestly. It is not exactly airborne, but I could have an irritation. And if, for example, I touch something that has been in contact with peanuts, I could have swollen eyes and an itchy nose and throat. Ingesting the peanuts is fatal. Yeah, allergies are crazy. What is it about peanuts that are so lethal? I don't know. They're just trying to kill us, dude. It is a nightshade, right? Nightshade? Yeah, I feel like peanuts are trying to get revenge on humans. There's this one kid that I know that if there's peanuts, even in the vicinity, just like gets. <gasps> what do you do at that point? Because I feel like Ooh, you okay. can't avoid them. Information. Ready? Yep. yep. So we know that lectins in peanuts, for example, are dangerous. The lectins in nightshades may also be gut irritants in sensitive individuals, setting off the same leaky gut response as the alcohol. I don't know what that means. So it's like bad for your gut and your yeah. What are lectins? I mean, I think if it kills you, it's probably bad for your gut, too. I'm going to be deceased with the strongest, strongest gut Strongest gut. But you know Iron. what I want? Wait, to... wait, wait. Let me tell you more about this. All right. What's a what, what else? Lectins are defined as proteins that bind to carbohydrates. The same features that lectins use to defend plants in nature may cause problems during human digestion. What? I just told you. I just explained it. Oh, yeah. I yeah. literally yeah, got carbohydrates. That. that was great. Carbohydrates. No, they, the, that was great. So Binded lectins, proteins. Lectins defend plants in nature. So it's, yeah, it's lectins. like a poison. You know, so for example, Okay, a plant so they're has, poisonous because they're protecting other yeah, things. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm makes, a lectin that John keep telling the story. <laughs> yeah. Just so. telling you facts that you asked me for. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> She is 14 and has no respect whatsoever for my anxiety. My boyfriend and I moved in and she lives with us every other week. Now, I told my boyfriend that I don't want her here because she is not respecting my boundaries, but that I understand that he doesn't want to live with me in that case. We could revert back to him being with me when he doesn't have his daughter. So basically, like they just moved in, but also they... There's uh, this daughter that is uh, not being sensitive to OP's They might revert it, although they might run it back. Uh, he got very upset and he said that he loved me and wanted a real relationship and to live in one home. Makes sense. So I told him that maybe he should be with someone who isn't allergic then. I feel like that OP is going nuclear. Yeah, that's a little... That feels that, like the nuclear option. Is that an a-hole sentence? Yeah, I think it is. A-hole I mean, it's, remark? It's like, it kind of feels like a-hole-y. You're talking in breakup language and you're, you shouldn't be talking breakup language. Yeah, it's pretty, right pretty harsh. However, it is life or death. That is true. It is life OP or death. OP said it's not life or death for... Unless she ingests in, it. In, yeah. Well, yeah. we need to know more about this, this daughter. Yeah. Yeah, I want to know what the daughter's actually doing. He thinks I'm being very unfair. He said, well, she will probably hate the next one too and the next one and the next because she wants her mom and me to be together again. So it wasn't me specifically that she dislikes. Oh, so maybe the 14 year old is trying to kill her. I low, yeah, yeah like, I think so. Oh, you don't like this sandwich? Peanut butter <laughs> jelly? What's wrong with that? Here, eat this totally not peanut butter sandwich. I made it special uh, for you. Have you, uh, it just starts like rubbing herself with peanut butter and going in for hugs <laughs> yeah yeah here's this new face mask totally healthy i said that maybe he needs to take a break from dating then until she is on board but he said that he couldn't be single just because his daughter wants him to before me he was single for six years and that wasn't good enough well, she That's was a true. baby at that time or like a, a small child but you even still, still date six and years. have a small child no, no, no. No, he's saying that how old is she right now 14 she's 14 so he's saying that six years ago no he was single for six years he, he was i know i know he was single for six years and he's saying oh well she's still unhappy with the arrangement but she's probably only like kind of cognizant about it well then she shouldn't care wow. no because then she wouldn't remember that there was a, a no, relationship she's like figuring it out she's like wait a minute well she's know. been against it the she's entire still, time I mean, consistently no i'm not i'm not defending her i'm just you're saying, saying op should be single for more than six Six for life. years. Yeah. <laughs> You're sentenced to singleness for eternity. Pop, pop, pop. I just feel like those past six years aren't relevant to her, you know? And they well, they're relevant to OP. Yeah, yeah, of course to OP. Because well, no, because, she, husband, because literally the, she's the saying, Oh, maybe you're not ready to date. And he's like, no, no, Girl, no. I've been waiting six years for this moment. She's not saying you're not ready to date. She's saying maybe you shouldn't date because your daughter's not ready to see you. That's the what she's saying. daughter's a butthole. I know, I know. But I, and he said, Well, I was Biggest single for six years. Years, in the universe. But I'm saying Trying those to six kill years my girlfriend aren't really relevant because she's a child. Who just is afraid of peanuts? <laughs> okay, whatever. I can't believe you're advocating. No, I'm not. 
for the daughter. I'm not advocating to for the kill. I'm not advocating OP. for the daughter. Okay. The doctor and the daughter's. <laughs> I'm just saying that he was saying the six years are relevant and I feel like they're not relevant because she was a child. They like, are very relevant. Uh, Literally, OP to is- To the daughter. To the daughter, they're not relevant because she was a six-year-old or an eight-year-old. They're very relevant to the oh, daughter. Whatever. Like She's young, so it's like hard to wrap her, her yeah. head around it. But that doesn't mean that OP should no. had to wait six years. It's no, whack because she's I'm, barely. Yeah. Sophia's right. She was barely cognizant, which means that she doesn't have any idea yes. of what the memory of them being together was like. That's what I'm saying. You just weren't listening. Yeah. I'm not advocating for the daughter. Sounds like it. Sounds like you're on Peanut's side. Uh, no. You want the Peanuts to win. Sibling, sibling rivalry you want aside. You the Peanuts to sibling win. Sibling rivalry aside. <laughs> He says, before we decided to move in together, we have done some trial living together and never once did his daughter do anything about the nuts. But make sure you do it. <laughs> Ooh, Important. There you go. <laughs> Only allergic to one nut. Am I right? But now for four months, she always has peanuts with her. So she, all of a sudden she's like bringing peanuts. That's so funny. That is the funniest <laughs> act of aggression ever. Dude. But dangerous though. That's so crazy. dangerous. She's trying to murder no, hey, her. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's good. You're I think advocating it's funny. for the daughter, Sam? <laughs> I'm saying it's hilarious. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know why she's doing this. I thought we were cool. She just smirks and says, maybe if you are so allergic, Maybe you're not meant to survive. Whoa, she's she's that's a eugenicist thing to say. Uh, followed by a stand-up comedy bit from Louis C.K. So I guess she's just quoting Louis C.K. That oh. line from from a special. <laughs> I was like, that sounds kind of. <laughs> I've heard that. I haven't heard it before. It's new to me. But we got some relevant comments from ER vet surgeon. Uh, not the a-hole, but you might need to leave this relationship. She thinks it's funny, and he doesn't care. The amount of disrespect for your health is amazing. It doesn't sound like he doesn't care, but maybe. But he's, he's not doing anything about it he's like having a hard time managing his daughter i mean like be like hey you're not allowed to bring you know here anymore because it's like super dangerous to her health yeah and he yeah but like do you know how small a peanut is you can sneak that shit in great you keep doing it there's going to be consequences what like, do you do you try something you try grounding her oh you need to stay in the house more <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing that op is not doing anything or uh, sorry, Opie's boyfriend. Yeah, is not doing any. That's like, why I think what would you do? Don't try one leave. punishment. What would you do? I mean, probably start taking away the things that like phone, phone, Gone. boom, take away phone. You need to have peanuts every or a phone. Every peanut you lose an item. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like something. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe it doesn't work, and it's not an effective solution. Better than sitting on your hands. Yeah, no, I agree. Nothing. I agree. I think if Opie's boyfriend is not doing any punishment, that's pretty whack, and that's an a hole move. Pretty Obviously, whack. the daughter's the a hole, but yeah, I think the boyfriend is the a hole if there's no punishment fall this peanut terrorism low-key i'm we don't have to answer this now but at the end of this section here i'm curious for everyone watching if everyone is the a-hole here including including op why is Stew op the a-hole oh for being so aggressive like you're not ready to date okay but i don't think that's necessary i think op is worried for her health and well-being and i think that it she kind of implied that she's brought this up before as like an issue saying like hey you need yeah. to stop your daughter from bringing peanuts in the house and it keeps happening and now the daughter's blatantly saying that she's doing it on purpose and knows why what she's doing and so i feel like if he's not going to do anything about it i think that's kind of fair of her to be like if you can't control your daughter i i can't live with you yeah, yeah. i wonder if it's but I feel like it's a rephrasing. There's a rephrasing that needs to happen because it's not if you can't control your daughter, then like she's like, oh, if your daughter's not OK with it, then you That's can't date. Sad. But I think if she said if you can't control your daughter in the way that you need to, this is literally not a safe environment for me. Yeah. I think that would make sense. Then you wouldn't be the a-hole. I don't think Opie's the a-hole. I think mm -hmm. oh, there's a tinge. I'm, I'm, I smell a tinge. What do you think? We're going to get into it after this next section. Cruel X Intention says this. He's allowing this instead of getting to the core of it and putting the child in therapy where she clearly belongs. She's plenty old enough to know that this can murk someone and to have complete disrespect regard over that shouldn't be overlooked and then wondering gemini 84 says you may love this guy but i bet you love breathing more this man people just love saying this you cannot love someone when you're gone the boyfriend doesn't seem to realize how serious the no peanuts thing is this is non-negotiable your home should be your safe space she doesn't respect that and doesn't hear you or doesn't care enough throw them out op weeper of chimney says not the a-hole she has all but said she's attempting to mark you with peanuts Quoting that is true like <laughs> she is Literally, she's using it as a weapon. Yeah. This is premeditated. Premeditated. Yeah, it would be premeditated. Merkin.
Uh, also, I realized I feel like it's a great word for so no one Barking? thanks yeah. us yeah. for saying that. Quoting a comedian doesn't make it funny or acceptable. He hasn't bothered to search her and divest her of the nuts when he picks her up either. To which OP responds. He, he pats her down every time she comes out of the house. Yeah, He's yeah. like, all right, arms <laughs> up. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Peanut detector. Peanut. He offered this. I as- realize, like, I know this is serious and like <laughs> OP could die. Yeah. But there's just something so There is funny. a comedic e- There uh, is a comedic element element of the peanut of this small little nut being a terrorist yes i agree i think a a comedian could do something on this they have um apparently hey sophia do you remember those two glorious uh weeks where you couldn't speak you remember that two horrible horrible weeks right you sounded like you were whispering always like you were in the quiet place yeah what was going on there i had laryngitis and no one cared everyone was mean to me i had to whistle for attention it was horrible i thought she was faking it he did she was just doing it for (laughs) the attention yeah i was convinced she just wanted to annoy me with her whistles i i actually i didn't know how to whistle beforehand but i i gained the ability to whistle that's when not I had... true. It was still no. awful. <laughs> no, it the wasn't. whistling was terrible. <laughs> it was great. I hated it. Well, Sophia, while none of us here cared the way you deserved, you know, there's one place where you would have found someone who would care the way you deserve. Who is that? ZocDoc. No way. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you. And instantly book appointments with them online. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviewed credible doctors and specialists. And you can filter for ones that take your insurance. And treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 72 hours. Sometimes even the same day. I use ZocDoc. We use ZocDoc. You should freaking use it too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash OKOP and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash OKOP, ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. Let's get back to the show. OP offered this as a suggestion. Visitation before she entered my apartment, but I don't want this kind of life. So visitation before she entered my apartment. Oh, I guess like visiting more until like everything's good and then comes to live there. I was fine only seeing him on his weeks off, but I understand that he wants something more permanent than meeting every other week. So he probably should find another woman. Yogurt Snodgrass says uh, she would probably just hide the peanuts around his place for you to hopefully come in contact with. Just break up. His kid is trying to mark you. Where is she even getting all of these nuts from? Is her mom buying them for her? Does she buy them from a vending machine at school? How crazy is the little turd? Now, we do have an update one day later. Yeah, I think like maybe OP was being a little like the only reason OP should be worried, of course, because there is OP's health on the line. Only thing I was just like a little bit like that felt like a little bit aggressive was the maybe you're not ready to date. But a good point is if you can't control your child. Maybe you're not ready to date. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's maybe more the root cause of the issue where it's like you're literally and there's like, quote unquote, controlling your child and then like actually trying to like do some parenting strategies to address it. Yeah, like there's literally it doesn't seem like he's even trying. It doesn't seem like he's even trying at all. And I think like maybe to Sophia's point, like we don't know exactly how if this is the first conversation about it, if this is the millionth conversation about it. But it does sound like OP is just kind of like over it. Yeah, kind of feeling like OP. P just wants to break it off and like almost like yeah maybe is looking for a reason i understand not wanting to i mean if like this guy's like a weak sack of poop that isn't trying to be firm at all with his daughter i think that shows a lack of character yeah again again it's it's actually like parenting the child that you like ultimately will like stepmother yeah, long exactly. term so if you don't have a good co-parent in your how can you ever partner get, yeah how can you ever get to a point where things are good? Well, is there an update? There is an update. We might Let's find get out. It. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for really caring about a stranger with a dilemma. I was glad that I wasn't wrong in my gut. I told my boyfriend that I wanted to break up. Yep. Over. Over. He was very sad and tried to reason with me. He suggested that we could live separately. His daughter will soon be an adult. I told him that just because she's 18 doesn't guarantee that she leaves the nest, nor that he stops being a father either. Yeah. Or that, I mean, she could, she has, when she's 18, she could probably buy more peanut. I mean, like that is full peanut buying freedom.
them right yeah. there. That is, yeah, you could buy any peanut you want. You, you can, can be bags and bags. Dump your whole paycheck. You can buy peanuts are cheap. Peanuts are cheap. And they literally, it's like buying peanuts. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Anytime she could come across hardships and want to move home and she needs to find that home, she couldn't have it with me. And about living separately, while it is fine now and some few years ahead, what about the future? He was silent and listening to me. I felt overwhelmed because I love him. He said that the only way his daughter will be happy is when he is alone. Dude, that's that's crazy. This daughter sucks. Yeah, I mean, she is a teenager, but I mean, a lot of teenagers suck, but this one specifically sucks. Yeah, not a vibe. She is in therapy, but has not shown any regards for her father or his life. She seems to not see him as an individual with feelings. He is just a father. I don't know what to tell him and just said that she probably needed time to grow up. Until he moves out, daughter is not allowed to be in my apartment. She called and threw a tantrum about her father choosing me instead. Oh, I guess about he was trying to like, like reason to be like, hey, like stay with me. But uh, but he's, um, he's he's not doing anything like there still hasn't. It's, I feel like I'm hearing no action that the father has taken to reprimand his child. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally losing on both fronts. The girlfriend is like, hey, you're literally not doing anything. And just because he's like trying to push back and stay in the relationship, the daughter's like, why are you choosing her over me? Like, why are you being a bad dad? Daughter's entitled. Bratty uh, kid. Yeah. Not not feeling it. She has the right to live with her father every other week. And this shouldn't change. I didn't say anything. They need to fix this as a family. And I am not a part of that family anymore. Ooh. He rented his apartment for a year's contract. So I don't know how he will manage to find a new lease or terminate the lease so he could move back to his old apartment. So yeah, they got a specific apartment just to live together. But they're both on the lease. I think he rents. I'm confused. He rented his apartment for a year's contract. So I don't know how he will manage to find a new or terminate the lease so he could move back to his old apartment. Anyway, wait, did, he's staying wait. there for a couple of no, months. No, no. Okay. So so he he's a like a landlord basically. And so he was renting out his previous apartment to someone else. Oh, and so he's saying he doesn't know how he So he has to find one. a new place to live. Yeah. That's easy enough. That, yeah, that's that's not bad that's at all. That's fine. Get over it. But then the next one is, anyway, he is staying here for a couple of months. He's Because, all right, so he has an apartment that right. he, when he moved in with her, he rented out. And now he's staying a couple months until he can find a new place. Yes. A couple months where? At, at, OP, the, at, at OP's, OP's place. We're living together. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So she's letting him stay. I was confused yeah, because he, I thought she was saying you're kicked out immediately. No. no. But, but your daughter is not allowed. Right, right, right. I am very sad that this beautiful relationship has to come to an end, but I need to think about myself now. And there are some relevant comments closing us out. Keenooch73 says, know you made the right choice for you, your health, and your safety. As someone said in your other post, you may love him, but you probably love breathing more. I love that quote. That's, <laughs> that's so funny. That's a pretty great quote. I think you're right about his daughter never accepting his partners. He needs to address this with her in therapy. This is true. I hope her therapist knows about the peanuts because her behavior is truly disturbing. I am so sorry your relationship had to end. And commercial ask 346 16 says, I feel so bad for you and your boyfriend. I feel like he is stuck between a rock and a hard place regarding his daughter. I know people are saying he should discipline her on this and that, but it sounds like it wouldn't work and that she would likely escalate. I work with kids like her, hoping her not being able to live with her dad the next few months will be a wake up call for her. But in my experience, I doubt it. Good luck to the both of you, especially him, as he has to deal with the fallout. Not your monkey, not your circus anymore. That's it. Well, I'm glad at the very least OP got out of a potentially deadly situation. Yeah, it, it seems like it just was not the match for either. And, you know, the more that I listen to the story, the like the more that I pull back on my initial like OP was even a little bit the a-hole it just it feels like she the more i think about and like if i'm if i stop thinking about it like a peanut and start thinking about it like every time the daughter placed a peanut somewhere it was her trying to stab op which is effectively kind of what is happening yeah it really puts into context like oh this is there's real consequences to her succeeding and hurting op plus again we don't know exactly like where in the timeline how many conversations they've had about this etc but it seems like they have had this conversation and OP is like I am trying to tell you that you need to discipline your daughter but you continually just don't do anything about it so I think think the the language which maybe debatably could be harsh is just she's just trying to communicate with them like you need to do this like this needs to happen or like it's gonna break off which is exactly what happened 
Yeah. So you should have heated. Should have heated the peanut. Heated the peanut. Heated the peanut. But to all of you that have peanut allergies, I would love to know how harsh it is and how do you think about it? Is it like I'm yeah. afraid of peanuts, like I am afraid of getting, or like is it? Is there? I don't know. How do you? I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, I like how do you avoid it? I have a friend that's my friend James is allergic to peanuts, um, but he eats a tiny awesome. bit of a peanut every day, and now he's like he can. Uh, he's worked his way up to a whole peanut. Oh, well, actually, wait, let me let me ask. I have a friend who's also allergic to peanuts and can't be like in the air. Right. Them. Yeah. Like even yeah. even the air is yeah. like aff- affects them. Yeah. And I, I constantly I have to like catch myself because I'm like, oh, hey, do you want some of this? Like, and like nope. it's clearly a peanut thing. And I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I don't know how your you know, allergy people are able to like live maneuver. You walk into a salad bar like any restaurant, right? Peanut oil, high fructose corn. Oh, wait, that's corn. Can't go to a Starbucks because we can't confirm that our uh, foods are allergen. Food. Yeah. I feel, which I feel like is most people. Well, there's there's peanut free schools now that's true when i was working at a summer camp we weren't allowed to bring any sort of like, peanut free peanut. Whole and did this, schools. Did this just did, happen i'm uh, this is yeah, such I a deep rabbit hole I I, yeah uh, i don't know it wasn't a thing when i went to school but when i was uh, i would love to see a youtube video like breaking down the history of the peanut allergy and like if because it feels like maybe the collective horde has become like more and more allergic to peanuts or something i really don't know I it was probably a thing for a while it just we know why they're dying they were probably just like so people are dying and on the way no so peanut allergies are becoming more common the prevalence of peanut allergies has significantly increased over the past few decades for instance studies indicate that the number of children in the u.s with peanut allergies more than tripled between 1997 and 2008. And this trend continues to rise. Approximately 2.5% of children in the U.S. now have a peanut allergy, representing about a 20% increase from 2010. What's going Um, on? Why is everyone becoming allergic? Improved hygiene has reduced exposure to infectious agents in early childhood that might lead to higher incidences of allergies. So in conclusion, let your kids play in the mud. Sniff some dirt. Roll them in peanut butter. (laughs) Yeah, roll them in like As soon as they're out of the womb, cover them in peanut butter. Lather them. Yeah. Well, you know what I want to be lathered with, Sam? This next story. Woo! Say that five times fast. Let's get it. Am I the a-hole for introducing my adopted daughter as my daughter? Yes. No context. And this comes from OK Fan 2004. And it's not an OK Fan. I, I was wondering. It's not. Lies. Maybe it is. I was married from 2000 to 2012. During that time, ex-wife and I had one son, 20. We divorced because she had two affairs. While we were in marriage counseling, trying to pick up the pieces from the first affair, she was very publicly exposed for having a second affair. So while in marriage counseling for the first one, publicly exposed for the second one with our child's teacher and her husband. Oh, man. So like both of them. Both of them. Double whammy. It ended badly. No crap. When the ex-wife started meeting the husband alone behind the wife slash teacher's back and the whole thing was a messy public spectacle, which ultimately ended with the teacher being fired and both marriages ending in divorce. We live in a smallish community and it isn't often that a teacher gets fired mid-year and certainly not under such interesting circumstances. So it was very much the subject of gossip for years. And it gives people an excellent reference point to remember when it happened. It was when little Timmy was in fourth grade. Oh, yeah. that I feel like that would rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Headline news. Headline. For, I mean, for years. Yeah. I can't, I can't imagine talking about an affair for years. Remember when Miss Carrollson was sleeping with that guy, but then the guy went behind the bleachers did it again? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I guess only the fourth graders are gossiping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> After our divorce, I remarried in 2014 and adopted my wife's daughter, 14, who was born in 2010. When I introduce my daughter, I introduce her as my daughter. It isn't particularly a secret that she's adopted, but it's something that I don't feel I need to necessarily make people aware of anytime I introduce her. Well, my ex-wife sent me a text stating that she had something really important to talk to me about. So I called her thinking it was about our son. She says that I need to make sure that people know that my daughter is adopted because several people have assumed that she's my biological daughter and therefore an affair child. OP's affair child? Yeah, I was a little confused by that. What do you think about uh, this whole idea that your adopted daughter should be introduced as, hey, this is my daughter. This is my adopted daughter. Yeah, that like Kinda that whack. feels so demeaning to them. I know. Yeah, yeah. This is my not real daughter. And like my fake daughter. I mean, that does suck if people are like incorrectly assuming there's 
an affair, but also like, are you really going to like just basically crap on your kid every time yeah. you introduce them to someone? Yeah. And also like who's when you, I guess they're assuming stuff like this, this small town, small towns can be gossipy, mm-hmm. yappity, yappity. So I don't know. Do you think she's right? Like not right as in you should introduce your daughter as your adopted daughter, but do you think she's right in that people think that he had an affair baby? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see that happening. The yickety yaps, the yappity yeah. yicks. They're just yapping. They're, They're telephone. Yapping. Yipping and yapping. Well, for some reason, it bothers her that people might think that I had an affair while we were married, even though it's pretty much common knowledge about her second affair. I told her, anyone who matters knows the situation, and I really don't care if people who don't know gossip about me. Is OP the talk of the town? Dude. I'm rather used to it by now. Rip. She said that I should think about her feelings. Really? OP should think about your feelings. Did you think about OP's feelings during the first affair? How about during the second affair when you were in marriage counseling for the first affair? How about when you were cheating on the two new people having their second affair with and then had a separate affair leaving one person out of the second affair so it's just you and that other person and that person got mad and exposed the second affair and then exposed it to your husband. How about that? But what about me? Get off your high what horse. About my feelings? You don't get to have feelings. <laughs> so I told her that the feelings and self-image of my 14-year-old daughter matter way more mm. than her feelings. And she's welcome to set the record straight with anyone she wants. But I'm not going to change the way I introduce my daughter, casual acquaintances, to tiptoe around her feelings, which I agree. I think that constantly pointing out that she's adopted would hurt my daughter, which we talked about. Yes. A hundred percent. Yes. And it's just not what I want to do. So after spending Mother's Day with his mom, my son called me and said that I'm the a-hole. So OP's son that's like 20 said that I'm the a-hole for the way I handled things. And he thinks I should make a point to make it clear that my daughter is adopted. So there is no confusion out of respect for him and his mother. So am I the a-hole here? That is so because it makes it doubly worse if you have a biological child as well. Then it's like, oh, it's like favoritism, essentially. So it's like, okay, this child. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This well, is my child, but you're just my fake child. You're just my, you yeah, my say that. adopted child. So not the a-hole at all. OP has their priorities straight. Yeah. Which I think is super, super important. And I can't, I can't imagine like if you adopt a kid having to give context to everyone, like I can't imagine that is something that anyone who adopts does, but two parents who have adopted, do you introduce your kid in any different way than you would if your kid was biologically yours? Or like, do you say, Hey, this is my daughter. Da, 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 and then do you maybe like tell the story of the yeah. adoption commonly? I, like, I, I'm curious. I don't know. I've I'm never curious. adopted a child yeah. but i i can't imagine that is normal appropriate thing to do yeah but i'm w- i'm willing and ready to be proven wrong let us know let us know in the comments adopters below. adopters give us the scoop but john i think i want you to adopt this next story and read it to me i will but just make sure that you label it as adopted i am not a deadbeat story reader no i am a beat story reader yeah he beats it that i do <laughs> On to the next story. Am I the a-hole for wanting my husband at our child's birth instead of at his daughter's fencing competition? But the daughter's going to win gold. He's birthing a champion right now. On (laughs) guard. Avocado Foreign 6364 says, I, 29 female, am married to my husband, 32 male. He has a daughter from a previous relationship, 12 female, who takes part in competitive fencing. Sick. That's pretty awesome. I would want my daughter in competitive fencing too. Can't even lie. Can't even lie. I want to be in competitive. Low key, you already are. Yeah, you beat, you, already beat, you beat a champion. That's right. I, <laughs> Sophia's like, yeah, yeah just reminding biggie. everyone who's boss Whatever. around here. Also, guys, secretly flame Riley in the comments for losing to Sophia, and then he's going to notice and then freak out. Mm-hmm. It's fun. Go ahead. Comment below. I have a good relationship with her and we're friendly. She lives with her mom, but I see her whenever she stays with us and I've hung out with her plenty. She has a competition on Thursday and my husband is flying down to see her tomorrow to spend a few days with her before the competition and to see the competition. Normally, I wouldn't have an issue with this, but I am 39 weeks pregnant with our first child. I could go at any moment and I have no family at all. I've asked him not to go and suggested we send her a gift down instead. And when do people usually have babies? How many, How many weeks, weeks is that? No, nine times four. 36. 39 out of... But you could have a, a premature... No, wait. Nine months times four is 36 weeks. 36. Oh, wow. So it's like nine to 10 months. So you're like pregnant. You're pregnant. Pregnant. He insisted he has to go and then I'll be fine. He has even suggested that my best friend can come stay with me while he's gone just to be safe. You know, just in case I miss, miss the birth of my kid. <laughs> 
Who cares? Yeah, Who cares? yeah, yeah. He's probably the real dad anyway. What blows my mind? <laughs> Whoa. I mean, low key might be an ICU. Yeah. <laughs> We've been getting pretty good at predicting these things. We are a story prediction algorithm living in human bodies. Yeah, dude, I've downloaded like it's like in the Matrix where it's like I know kung fu. I've downloaded <laughs> all of Reddit into my brain. Dude, it's a nightmare. <laughs> you will be able to like foresee cheating in in all in, relationships. In all relationships. Just listen to if you, wanna if you want to instantly predict power, cheating. Just watch, watch every episode. Show. You're welcome. Watch every episode. I normally would live in fear <laughs> exactly i normally wouldn't mind him going for this and would even encourage it but i'm scared and i want him with me right now your husband with you when you're about to have a baby maybe if you were a fencing champion like his daughter you would have the strength and resilience maybe to if be your with. baby was a fencing champion yeah yeah he'd be there could fence for himself you should have had fetus lessons fetus fencing lessons mm, the it ffs even, it's even the triple alliteration F. come on he feels she will be too upset if he misses it and he has to work hard to keep his relationship with her given the fact that he's separated from her mother and having a kid with me yeah makes total sense yeah just get, put all the work into the daughter and none into your that wife baby, and your baby not gonna remember a thing and honestly <laughs> my friend great at makeup could make him look just like me <laughs> wait what <laughs> The friend's yeah. going to go in instead. So the friend is we'll good put at makeup, on makeup and put a disguise. And will look like OP. Oh, my God. It's like he's not even gone. That's you know what? hilarious. You know what OP Irish should have signed double. her baby up for? What? In vitro fertilized fencing. I messed it up. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. You know what OP should have signed her baby up for? What, what Sophia? In vitro fencing. IVF. <laughs> IBF! <laughs> In vitro fencing! IBF. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Womp. I thought about womp, it. Womp, I thought about womp. it. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> I feel awful for even asking him not to go and incredibly selfish. It's okay. As yes, his daughter is important and I never want to get in the way of their relationship, but I'm just terrified into going to labor when he's not there. You're More having the a literal baby. Yes. Yes. He has made it clear that he's going no matter what and is implying that I am being unreasonable to ask him to do otherwise. That's crazy. I don't know. Perhaps I'm being selfish. Maybe he's like, you know, you see one birth, you see them all. You know? <laughs> yeah. The same, oh same shit. God. I already was that one yeah but i can only watch see reruns? my daughter winning the fencing championship once in my life exactly yeah it's not like there's other fencing championships she could go out and win oh. at any time this is the most important oh. one most important one edit information that has come up in the comments that should have been in the post part of the reason i'm so scared is that i am unlikely to last the week have been having a hard time with the pregnancy and i am classified as high risk due to being diabetic he's also flying out tomorrow and returning Friday evening. So OP has like potential serious complications with the pregnancy is super worried for the, I mean, even if there was, even if the pregnancy was like looking good across the board, you should be at that birth. Yeah you like it is so reasonable to want your partner there supporting you. you're the one giving birth and even more so that it's complicated and even more so that it's complicated the bare minimum bare minimum he could do is be there to support you my god edit number two also yes for those wondering i'm set to be induced due to being diabetic it's going to happen on saturday which is why he's coming back on friday but i don't think i'll last that long so it's like op is planned to have the labor induced like medically but she might go into labor before that before point that. Right. 100%. So there is an update. I see you in the comments if you think she's going to pop beforehand. Yeah. I'm thinking she's going to pop beforehand. Yeah, I, I think she'll probably have the baby beforehand. Do we think the husband will be there? No. Yeah. That's my ICU and she's going to be mad. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that he's going to make it. And then, okay, so let's go all the steps down in our conspiracy theory. Do we think then that OP will ultimately divorce? There's actually two updates, by the way. There's two updates. I don't think she would divorce just because of that new parent like that would be really hard to raise the baby alone from this point so i don't think she would divorce just because of that but conspiracy theory he's going to the fencing to use his sword with the ex-wife oh that's why he needs to go because they're both gonna be there and they're rekindling their long lost love and then he's like my all my daughter wants is for us to get back together and then parent trap 
That could be it. Is this Parent Trap? But let's see this juicy update. Let's find out. Hey, everyone. I wanted to thank everyone who commented on my initial post. Your comments were very helpful. My doctor ended up deciding I needed an emergency C-section on Wednesday. And remember that she was going to have it induced on Saturday. So we're a few, few days, days early. Ahead, and the husband was going to come back on Friday. That means husband is gone. Yikes. Yikes. My best friend is an absolute saint and went with me to the hospital. She wasn't allowed in the room, so she spent the entire time trying to get in touch with my husband. We only managed to contact with him after our daughter was born. You missed it. He missed it. You missed it. You only get he to see it. your daughter be born once. That is that is big fact. Get back in there. Do yeah. Again. Let's run it back. Take two. <laughs> once he knew she and I were healthy and fine, he didn't want to fly back. He said we were fine now and the competition still hadn't happened. So there was no point in upsetting his daughter. He'd be flying back on Friday anyways. He doesn't want to spend time with his daughter. That was just born. There is something else at play. There is mm. no way we have all the information right now. Yes. Could I see you if you're feeling something coming? And what about what you know and the story has tipped you off so far? Let us know. I was rather worn out and numb at this point. Understandable. Just delivered a baby. So didn't argue. Though my friend called him every swear word she could think of. What hurt the most is he didn't ask for a single picture of our daughter <gasps> or to Zoom to see her. I know yeah, what you a don't baby looks see? like. They all look the same. When he talking about <laughs> you kidding me you've seen one baby you've seen every baby side note a lot of newborn babies are so ugly yeah including i, bro, I was the ugliest i was the ugliest newborn baby ever i don't know do we That's have any cute. early baby ugly pictures i don't know I man. we have like like i think when i like it was one but i think i, do I we have baby videos probably. like do you have a video of your first steps probably somewhere i don't know i've never seen, I've never seen that either Where's Let's the home it. videos? Yeah, we don't have any home videos. What's the deal with that? New Discord. We just have aesthetic here. black and white photos. <laughs> we do have, a, we have, a, and we have a lot of those. Yeah, it's art. It is art. Videos are not art. Pictures are. <laughs> Yeah, videos, art, kidding me. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> On Friday morning, he told me he'd be missing his flight as he felt under the weather and he didn't want to risk it being the vid and bringing it back home. Dude, there is something so fishy. He's cheating. He's got to be cheating. Hey, okay, babe. Okay. However, however, I hate him and he's the worst, but also don't bring COVID around a baby. Sure. But like, sure. check, check. Take a test. test. Take a yeah. freaking test. Come on. I admit this kind of broke me a little. And when I asked him if he didn't want to come home, he told me I was being ridiculous. At this point, I had had enough and told him to come back whenever he felt like it, but I'd be staying with my friend with the baby when I got out of the hospital as I needed to think about some things. Uh -oh. what, was what did I say before the update? We got a little bit of breakup language happening over here. Ooh. I said something. It's heating up. It's heating up. My friend had been trying to get me to come stay with her anyway, so I knew it would be fine with her. He simply told me that was fine and, Whoa. and to come back when I'd stopped <gasps> my hissy fit. No, get, get. She my just hissy fit had your there. child. Divorce. Divorce. I want to smack this man right in the. I want to. I want to challenge him to a fencing competition and destroy him. And I want to feed him peanuts mm. and hope he has a peanut allergy. Yeah. I'm done. Not once has he asked to see our daughter or even showed concern for either of us following the emergency C-section. I grew up in care. A mother alone is better than no one, and I know that firsthand. I'm not going to try and make things work just for her sake. My best friend and her parents are currently at my home, getting all my things and the baby things to move them to my friend's home. I've also decided on the baby's name. I wanted to name her Violet initially after my best friend. Bye. My husband shot that name down immediately when he knew I was having a girl as he felt it was an old lady's name. But honestly, I couldn't have done any of this without her. Honestly, I think Violet is a really cute name. And also, he's not there. So she can write whatever she wants. Yeah. And I don't feel like it's a... There's some names that are old lady names. That's not one of them. Violet's not an old lady name. It was in the Incredibles. Uh, exactly. It's an incredible that. name. I see what you did there. Um, so, yeah. I would be concerned if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler! Ah! <laughs> Movie? <laughs> what is that? Define incredible. Um, so, yeah. That is where I am at right now. I am in a whole lot of pain emotionally and physically, but I have my little girl in my arms. I'll likely be talking to some lawyers soon to ask what to do going forward. Thank you again for everyone. You've all helped a great deal. There is a final update here. Question to everyone in the comments and to you, Sam. Right move or not? To what? To divorce. Talk to the lawyers? 
right move or not? I mean, if it was me, I would be super suspicious yes. of the husband, which I am. And I would get my ducks in a row a little bit, but I would hear him out first. Yeah, maybe it's saying something like, hey, listen, like I cannot stay in this. this really. Something is not adding up at all. And like any reasonable person would would have been there, would have been there. And also like all of these, like you saying like, oh, you got to stay with the daughter. Like that's not any reasonable person would. Yeah. And it makes me very like it, it makes me very worried for our ability to parent this child in the future if you're going to be so absent. So tell me what's really going on. Yeah. Really happening. Which I feel like maybe we'll get it an update. Update. Ooh. How Let's things go. are now. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for your support and messages. Sorry I didn't post sooner. I debated on posting an update, but I figured that I should, as I know many of you were worried slash curious. This will likely be my last update. Thank you all. So Violet and I, the baby, are doing good, all things considered. My friend has been a godsend, and we're still staying with her, and she has even been talking about the two of us looking for a bigger place together, as this isn't an ideal place for a baby as Violet gets older, as the two of us are in a tiny guest room at my friend's place. Place. Maybe big conspiracy theory. OP ends up marrying Violet. I mean, they the, seem the, to the be friend, parenting friend. together. Violet literally saw. Wait, Violet the friend? Because the uh, the friend is also named or Violet. Vi. I don't know if she's also named. Did OP Violet. name the child after the friend? Right, right. I could totally I see mean, it. When you name your after someone. <laughs> You got to marry bruh, them. Bruh. Yep, <laughs> yeah, but you have to. You have to. It's, those are the rules. It's the rule. Sam's golden rule. Now, you're likely wondering about my husband. Well, I've been in contact with the lawyer and have filed for divorce. Has he said anything? Well, I reached out to his ex offering to send pictures of Violet for her daughter as my soon-to-be ex-husband hadn't been interested in seeing any. They've, they have gotten <gasps> back together, it seems. Did I call it? Nice work. Let's go. Dude, you called. Let's go. <laughs> you called them getting back together. I called them getting divorced, dude. We are. We are the Reddit in, story <laughs> prediction machine. The infinity stones of predicting Reddit stories are in our glove. <laughs> Gotta love it. We need to start like cheating stories, wedding stories. We need like a, a diamond for every every type of story. So good. DNA. So good. So good. Um, well, we haven't had a good or many DNA, DNA stories lately, right? Mm -mm. Throw, we gotta throw it back. <sighs> I know many of you suggested it, and you were right. He still hasn't seen Violet and shows no interest. My lawyer has all the messages and every shred of proof that could be useful in the divorce and the matter of Violet's custody, though I doubt there will be any issue in me having full custody, given he hasn't even wanted to see a picture of her yet. Now, about Violet's surname and birth certificate status, she has my surname, and he isn't on the birth certificate. He isn't acting like a father and has no interest in her, so it seems. Thanks, everyone. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and speaking of which, we do have a relevant comment. Cat Super Cute says, I'm honestly so curious about how the oldest daughter took it, especially since she got along with the stepmom, OP, and most likely knew she was going to have a baby sister. Also, the ex-wife, a fair partner, sleeping with, because I doubt they weren't effing every time he flew back to see his daughter and stayed at their place, taking back a man who cheated on his wife, impregnated her, and abandoned her? True. Where's her self-respect? OMG. Can't even imagine how heartbreaking that conversation went when OP sent the X pictures. Hey, we're back together. He doesn't care about your kid and neither do I. So don't send more pics. Jesus, I'm so happy OP had support. Edit, I want to add info that I think may help with context. Not sure if I can edit the post, so I'll add it here. OP stated that in her comments that soon to be X and his ex-wife broke up because they were young and had some difficulty raising their daughter and fell out of love or some crap like that. He then moved to a different location for a job opportunity, which is where he met OP. So it it wasn't cheating that broke them up, it seems. It was just like they were young, like yeah, trying yeah. to parent and like relationship difficulties. OP said that soon to be ex would stay at his ex wife's house whenever he would fly back to see his daughter. Many commenters pointed out that it was fishy and most likely how the affair started, as it's unlikely that he made the decision to leave OP and return to his ex wife within the span of a week. I agree. That was a beautiful ending. Beautiful. Beautiful. I needed that ending. I mean, kind of tragic for OP. Tragic, but a goaded Reddit story. In terms of, uh, oh, like, and just in terms of the insane behavior. The and insane it was, behavior yes. and the, like, everything that happened. It sucks for OP. OP, I'm sorry, but just know that you have entered the halls of Reddit story. Oh, the, the, fame. the OKOP Hall of Fame. Mm. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, but let's just get into this next story, Let's which do it. comes. 
from r slash okop show our own subreddit if you want to hear your story on the show you should submit it there we're growing we just got another post with like a million views crazy so I am i the a-hole for planning on destroying my fertilized embryos oh wow this comes from mama swirl and they say hey all first time posting i 31 female have pcos and do not menstruate without being medicated uh, i guess that's a fertility issue it's, it's like um uh, what you columns in your uterus Cystic, oh, cystic. Yeah, cystic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so yeah. i got it i knew what it was called yeah <laughs> i had a friend that had that yeah. When my husband, 31 male, and I tried having a baby, we ended up going through IVF. We got five beautiful embryos. And out of that, we currently have two children, three male and less than one female. Wow. And three frozen embryos hereby called the Frosties. The Frosties. Which is cute. This past year, my sister, 34 female, and her husband, 33 male, started trying for a family and they ended up going through the process for IVF. We all assumed that she would have a similar journey to me as she also had PCOS, although not as bad as mine. Unfortunately, it turns out my brother-in-law is shooting blanks. He went through a bunch of testing, which included extracting sp directly from the testes, similar to how they remove eggs from the ovaries during IVF. Mm. And he has a zero sp count. Ouch. Their only option is to use a sp donor. Zero sp count. That's no sp no swimmers. Upon discussing this with a friend of mine, they asked me if I would give my Frosties to my sister and her husband. And I, what do you think OP would say? No. I automatically said no. We are hoping to go for at least one more child, but if we have any Frosties left, we will be destroying them. Am I the a-hole for planning on destroying my Frosties and not even entertaining the thought of giving them to my sister? Hmm. And there's a quick note before we go hmm. into the discussion. Yeah. Note, when we signed up for IVF, we added the options for remaining embryos a be destroyed b donated to science c donated to another person an edit in my country banks are a little harder to get access to than in the u.s she has already been on the list for about eight months donors are not paid in our country therefore it is a much smaller pool more donies than donors so is op the a-hole for when her sister wanted her frosties she said no and again there's only like two frosties left and did she say she was planning oh sorry there's only three frozen embryos left three frosties three three frozen embryos left and she, did she say that she both denied her sister and was planning on essentially destroying destroying anything left after getting the last kid the last kid that she just had yeah so that is good context because it's like why would you like why waste what well, i'm i'm right? i'm curious what is the reason for not giving them to my sister like if sophia was barren and i had eggs and i could give sophia my eggs i would probably give you my eggs via right yeah you're not even respond i'm sorry i was fine well, you're not even, even, a, no, you're not even, i'm trying to give you my <laughs> eggs right now and was, she's not giving me the time of day i was finding some relevant comments from oh, okay. op which cool. you can look at if you'd like oh that's awesome yes we would right. We can read them. We can read these relevant comments after this. But yeah, Sophia, if I, if you were, I don't know that. Well, that wouldn't work. But like, if, like, if we were of the same gender and could give each other, we could swap. This is weird. Swap sperms and eggs. Yeah, I don't know. You wouldn't. You wouldn't give me that. I'd give it to you, but I don't know if I would want yours. Why? Wait, I'm. If Sam was also a woman and could carry eggs. Oh, yes. okay, okay. But, I see. Well, obviously okay. we we wouldn't yeah, want to like, have an I don't, inbred I don't baby. Do that. <laughs> an IVF. In fairness, baby. it was confusing. I had to go. I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Was if I was a woman. <laughs> okay. And you could, were a woman. If I was a woman and could give you my eggs. And I didn't have any eggs. And you didn't have any eggs. Would you take my eggs? Yeah, probably. Why is there any hesitation? Because I don't understand the hesitation. I, I don't think I have hesitation. Okay. So you would take my eggs. I guess so. Would you give me your eggs? Do you have sure. three eggs left that you're you planning me, on not using yeah, oh, yeah. Not, you're, you could take them you would give me one yeah, yeah sure that's the thing where i'm so confused is i'm I like i so what i could understand is op being like hey listen you know we, we went through all this stuff to try and have these kids and we want to have the three just in case we want to have another one and we we know that yeah you know maybe it'll take two or three tries i totally get that yeah that totally makes total that. sense to me right but then also yes what does the husband doing like having blanks have to do with the oh because they're gonna go to just bank and then do it okay but does, well, but no, no no i had that same question does she not have eggs though that uh, she could so, so basically what happened is so the situation is op's sister has pcos right yeah both of them have it uh but more severe Ooh, and so it makes yes, it harder yes, yes, yes. to do ivf and the husband is shooting blanks so they have to get their own 
and have to get a frosty. Right. And I believe right. it might be a fertilized embryo. Is that true? A fertile. Well, you fertilize the embryo, I believe, right? Three frozen embryos. But like. That you then fertilize? I I'm wondering, does it contain? Because it sounds like. Maybe. OP's sister's husband can't have kids. OP's sister can't have kids. And so they're, do they want both the sperm? and the embryo from OP and her husband. Both, yeah, basically just having like their child. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's still still kind of slightly confusing why if they're going to like not use the embryos anyways, not just have... Yeah, I don't think... I mean, it's your body. Yeah, you can... At the end of the day, do it's your yeah, I body. Think, I don't think OP owes... Them. You don't owe she your... she doesn't want to do it, she doesn't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, and like, it's your body. I would be curious what your reasons are. Yeah. But like, if it was me and I could give eggs to Sophia, I would. Yeah, I guess it just depends on your relationship with your sibling. Yeah, yeah. And Which it, seems good. We don't we don't have any indicators that it's bad. Yeah, yeah. I would want... I, I, I don't think you're the a-hole, but I want to know what, yeah. what what's the reason. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm just like, I want more information. Yeah, but should we read some comments? Yeah. Do it. Just on one relevant one. So relevant comments. Cursed18 says, so your sister hasn't even asked for them. The idea was just floated by a friend. Oh, right. Yeah, she hasn't asked. Oh, then she's definitely not the a-hole. Yeah. Either way, you're not the a-hole. They're your uh, embryos. Unless your sister asks you herself, in which case you can, of course, say no. This isn't even a problem. And then OP responded, correct. She has not asked for them. Knowing my sister, she would never ask for them. But I do believe she would be annoyed that I didn't offer them to her. <sighs> I don't think you're the a-hole, but if this was me, I would give I would give my eggs. I would give yeah. my eggs to you, Sophia. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> High quality eggs. I think double A eggs. I think I would too because like you give your eggs. I do, yeah, and, and I do kind of get the sense of like maybe someone's like, hey, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the burden. I don't want to ask. I don't want to have to. This is a big, you know, a big request and a big ask. But also, like, I would hope that my sister would do this at the same time. I can kind of see that. Like, you're basically being as respectful as you possibly can, but like ultimately are like. Like, man, I wish. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You're not the a-hole, but you're probably not like being the, like not doing the most. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not the angel for sure. You're not the angel. Not the a-hole and not the angel. Yeah. You're just a person. Yeah. I don't think you necessarily have to be the angel. No. You don't. No, no, yeah. no, no. But you're, I don't think you're an a-hole. Yeah. No, I agree. But would you give your eggs to your sister? Or Sam. If you were also the sister. Yeah. Yes. Would you give your eggs? Let us know don't in the comments. Don't give your eggs if you're, if you're different genders. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. That wouldn't work out. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys think. Put your answers in the comments. And I would love to know your reasons because mm. I think that's just as important. Now, OP, if you're listening to this, like you're a fan of the show, let us know what your reasons are. Talk to us. Yeah. Let's chat in the comments. Ooh. But if you love us, make sure to subscribe. We love you and, and see you tomorrow. tomorrow.